Crypto Kids, this is a Bitcoin emergency update video because we fell from $45,500 down to $40,500 today. I'm going to be discussing if I think the price will drop furthermore and why there may be no need to worry actually and updates on my Bitcoin active limit orders since actually one of them got triggered and uh, we're in some nice profits right now. But without further ado, let's jump in straight to the Bitcoin price and discuss where we can head next. And just to add, do you remember uh, Michael Saylor actually sold a lot of some micro strategy shares earlier on today? Is that a coincidence? Maybe not. Just something to mention. Let's go into so Bitcoin and discuss what's going on here. So Bitcoin fell from $45,800 all the way down to now $42,250. If you guys remember on my updates on the Telegram channel and of course in the uh, videos as well, I mentioned that if you are in a long position, 45.8K could be a very good place to be taking profits. Now, as you can see here, Bitcoin wicked exactly to this price level and saw a drop and a correction towards the downside. Now, in terms of my active trades on Bitcoin, we have this um, limit order that got triggered at $40,570 over on Bitflex, uh, which is now in approximately 100, uh, 145 USDT in profits. But as we approach closer towards the halving, I will be scaling into this long position with much more margin. And if you are looking for a place to be trading crypto or Bitcoin, by the way, you can check the description down below to uh, get up to actually $80,888 worth in uh, bonuses and prizes now. But that aside, Bitcoin is at 42.1K. It is crucial level of support. The Bitcoin spot ETFs are going to be announced whether they're ready for trading uh, either today, literally today. So it's going to be announced today. The market had crazy high funding rates. At this point, it was just not sustainable to keep long positions open. Short term holders accumulation was at an all time high, suggesting that speculative traders, all they want to do was to just take advantage of the current price move and um, actually just take profit and not really hold the asset for long term. So all of these indicators were bearish and it did reflect a potential move towards the downside. As you guys remember, just a couple of videos back, I discussed that the CMF was uh, turning down, stochastic was turning down. Um, however, it's important to assess what's going to happen to Bitcoin coming, coming up towards the actual approval, hopefully next week. Right. And if we see this approval next week and Bitcoin starts trading next week uh, over on the on the, um, you know, the spot ETFs and the Nasdaq, etc., we may see a more significant correction, because if we have a look at the CME impact, which was in 2017. And for this, what we need to do is we need to go into bar replay and go back all the way to the 31st of October in 2017. So it's not bar replay. I'm not sure if they have this feature um, on the iOS version. But I, th I don't think I can go back in time. Um, yeah, let me check again. I don't think we can go back in time. However, the gist of it is back in 2000 and, um, 2017, once we had the launch of, the, uh, of the, you know, the CME, which was the first ever financial instrument that enabled financial, uh, you know, the big institutions to get exposure to Bitcoin. Once we had this launch, we saw a correction of 70% towards the downside. But leading up to it, we saw a 220% increase. So in a relative scale, it was not too big of a correction uh, compared to the actual price rally we had. But it is healthy. It's healthy for us. I think this current correction that we're seeing on Bitcoin is healthy for us. Yes, we may reverse down to the $34,000 level. This current candle today, it's not looking too good. It's possible we come down to $34,000 um, and, you know, collect the $4.5 billion we have in liquidations, or we may see a drop to $38K. That is also um, a possibility. Uh, and if we do see this, I don't think it's bad for Bitcoin. Uh, everybody was hyping into it. You know, we were FOMOing in. The FOMO was starting to kick in once again through retail investors, through mainstream media. And now that we've seen this dump, I think we've kind of cleared that away. And what I'm just going to be doing is I'm going to be accumulating more Bitcoin uh, in upcoming videos on a daily basis. In terms of this trade, I already put it into break even uh, in my stop loss. So if we do come down to forty thousand uh, and six hundred dollars again, I don't want to lose money on an active position. Uh, but 
look, if, if we come further down, I think it's just a better opportunity to accumulate more Bitcoin and to accumulate more cryptocurrencies. In fact, I just put all the account that I have, my entire spot account into Bitcoin just a couple of minutes ago. And you can also do that yourself over on Bitflex. Super easy to sign up. I have a full tutorial on how to use the exchange and start trading too. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. No need to panic. I think a lot of things just happened in one shot and that's okay, right? Now is the time to accumulate. Now is the time to not be in fear, but to just sit back, relax and enjoy what the halving is gonna do to Bitcoin. Guys, I'm CryptoKid. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone and I will see you all in the next video very soon. Take care guys and bye-bye.